Okay, so here it is. It's hard. It's lumpy. So I've been having a really, really just long week this week. Um, it, ha it hasn't been like the worst week of my life, but last year was the worst year of my life. But it was just a really bad week. I had like the ultimate betrayal. I know it sounds like it sounds like dramatic, but it kind of was. It actually was really dramatic. Oh, you guys might hear my air conditioning because I'm sitting in my car. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store in a minute. But I was like, oh my gosh, I can't like go on not saying anything about this. Okay, so last week, um, I think it was like last Tuesday or something. I have to check. Um, me and, well, you know what? I think it's better if I give you guys a quick backstory. Okay, so I was dating this guy. I met him in, um, my first, like, year of college. I met him and we just, like, instantly clicked. But he just had a few things that were wrong with him. Like, he was not really, he was just talking to too many girls, so we never really got down like that. But, um, you know, but anyway, I was dating another guy while I was talking to him. Me and him ended up getting into it, so I moved out and I moved in with him for a little bit until I got my apartment. So, um, but we were great. Everything was cool, but we still had issues and like, things like that. I met his sister, and she is a lesbian, and she tried to, like, make this serious pass at me when we first met. I told him about it, but, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure because I didn't want him to think I was, like, trying to be, like, fake or anything. So... I told him about it and I was like oh well you know this is what happened so there you go so there's the backstory with that me and him dated have been dating on and off for about four years now and I just never took him seriously because he has issues 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 but for some weird reason we are like he's my soulmate unfortunately so anyway um, fast forward and last weekend well, whatever, last week, me and him, we went out, came back home, and I figured out how we got really on the subject. But we got on the subject of his sister and, and things like that, and he was like, well, why don't you tell her about it? Um, and well, I was trying to tell him about helping her to get some boxes and things like that so we could clear up the front room a little bit, because the front room was so messy. But they had just finished looking for her keys, but I was like, well, if we got her some boxes and things and, like, some little baskets, we could help her really just, like you know get the things cleared up so anyway he was like is it that bad that you guys can't talk to each other i was like yes uh, i can't really tell her anything because she always wants to start something so anyway he goes in there talks to her and he brings me out talk to her blah blah so i was so the first time me and her started talking she was getting upset blah blah, blah. um she was like trying to fight and it was like what you know we were literally just talking i was like telling her and then she was like man i don't want to talk no more i want to fight i want to fight like she's like a, a ghetto stud or whatever <laughs> yeah ghetto stud so i was just like what the fuck so he went outside and he talked to her but before he went out and talked to her he was telling i was telling him about you know and you got her in this house and the bitch tried to sleep with me like a few years ago you know what i mean i shouldn't have said that he went out and told her so ladies Number one, do not get serious with a dude who is not loyal about you and him. Because that means that you don't mean shit to him, okay? If he's not loyal, he can't, like, keep a, his, a secret or he doesn't need to run and tell everybody. He knows what's right to tell and what's not right to tell. So, anyway, he went and told her and that started, that made the fight even bigger. She started, I was sitting down talking. He told me to sit down. He was like, sit down and talk to her right quick. So, I sat down. And I talked, and I was talking to her, but she was getting in my face. Like, she was, you know, bobbing back and forth like she wanted to fight. So, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, so I started calling her stupid. I was like, bitch, you're stupid. You're trying to fight me because you can't talk and stuff like that. And so, he got in the middle of it. And she she had a lot of times, like, if she was going to hit me or whatever, she could have did it. She kept, like, trying to lunge at me, but she wasn't doing it. She just kept, not even lunging, she just kept pushing forward. She wasn't doing nothing. I was like, wow, this is a really dumb bitch. I don't know what to say about this hoe. So after that, so that was a, yeah, that was the second time we got into the living room. We were just like talking or whatever. But she actually pushed me. And so that's when I tried to really get out of it. I was trying to grab her as much as I could, but he was holding me back, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, I went in the room. And I don't even remember what happened, but I cursed her out. We were cursing each other out or whatever. And she went and she broke my phone. 
my phone was already cracked right but she like split it open and stuff so then um so then I was like this bitch really just broke my phone the weird thing is I wasn't upset about it because I have insurance and my insurance takes care of it and I have Apple care so I don't really care but you don't even respect me enough you know what I'm saying so anyway, so I wasn't even heated about that. I just was like, wow, you know. And then, so I was like, she needs to go. Because she's the one who's trying to fight me. And we were literally just talking. And she's the one who's starting everything. Like, she's doing this. So he was like, okay, yeah, I'm about to get it. I'm about to make her go. He wasn't doing nothing, y'all. So then, um, this, so then me and her, we, I go outside. And I'm like, you broke my phone, bitch. Like, you broke my phone. And she was like, yeah, I broke it, blah, blah, blah. Um whatever and so then but then she was trying to act like she didn't really know what i was talking about and her brother was like i know where your phone is i know where your phone is i picked that bitch up i picked up my phone and i was like okay this is my phone what the fuck did you just do to it like it split open you know what i'm saying so anyway uh, i go back in the house and me and him i'm trying to like reason with him so I, I he wasn't really doing nothing so i was like okay i'm over this he was trying to convince me to stay with him don't leave him he will do whatever he needs to do to fix it he wasn't fixing it. He kept asking me, what do I need to do? I told him to make her leave. He said, okay, she's leaving. He kept trying to keep me in. But this bitch what, called her brothers, her two big brothers, over for no reason. Like, And then she called her cousin and her aunt to come over. And that was... And then once, you know, my, my boyfriend, my ex or whatever, he was standing there just watching, not doing nothing. Every time I would come out, he was saying more stuff to make it worse. Like, he was saying, yeah, she's in the room. She won't leave. But then when he would come back inside, he would be telling me, I'm about to get her out of here. She's out of here. So he was being fucking two-faced and fake as fuck. So I was just like, I already know what he was doing because he always does stuff like this. He can, He's never going to be, like, a real man or whatever. So um, it was just it was just stupid. He, like, put his hands on me because she... Okay, I don't know. I don't remember how it was, but she threw something. So I threw something, in, you know, in her direction. And he came over. He just lunged at me and threw me on the bed and was holding me down. And while he was holding me down, she was trying to get some licks in. But she wasn't even hitting me. Like, she just kept trying to act like she was going to do something. So then he would go back and he would bum rush her and they would start fighting. And I was like, what the fuck? These, they're causing more damage to themselves and they are to me i was just so weirded out so then i threw something else and then he came at me and he like pushed me into a corner and then um she took one of her she she had she was on crutches and she took one and she hit me in my thigh really hard with it hard with it and that just took me over the edge i just like flew over the bed and went after her and she was like nowhere to be seen or whatever and he was holding me back and blah blah but he wasn't doing nothing about her. She's the one who was trying to hit me while I'm being held down. She's the one who started the whole, I want to fight, I want to fight. She's the one who called her brothers over when she's the one who started the fight, which is crazy. So then um, after that, I was really just done with the relationship. I was trying to get Apple Care on the phone so I could pay my little $80 Kofi and get me a new phone or whatever I needed to do. Um, so then the cousins came over and the aunt. The, um, her, I went outside. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, I had been sitting in a room for, like, an hour now. And I didn't want them to think I was a punk. I was just trying to, like, handle my stuff in the room. And I didn't want to come out until I got my shit handled. Like, be, uh, until I got my phone or whatever. And I heard... And so, he told me, okay, I'm going to pay for you, to, your co-pay to get a new phone. He gave me $62. And his brothers were like, don't give her nothing. She don't deserve nothing. Excuse me, bitch. We've been together for f four years. I don't know if y'all have known me since I was a fucking teenager. And y'all trying to act like I'm just some side bitch or somebody that he doesn't even fucking know. And stuff like that. And the way they were talking about me and all that stuff. And then his sister, she was like, I, I don't like you. And it was like, if you don't like me, why? She don't got no money. She has no job. And she gets a social security check. She's literally like a fucking hood rat. One of those hood rat people that you see on the memes that just trying to collect a uh, social security check. She smokes weed all day and she gets food stamps. And she literally does not have, she got to eat off of my food after the 10th of the month because she don't got no money nothing like that and she needs rides she always brings over friends and she wants me to cook for them and give them food and she always has a company and wants me to cook for her and her company and stuff like that and the food that i, and I don't get food stamps and nothing like that so 
it was like what the fuck and they were under the impression that i got food stamps and i kept telling them i don't get food stamps you can look at my receipts it's all cash credit card whatever blah blah so stop eating my goddamn food so anyway um <clears throat> so after that i went outside and i was like reggie is she gonna go yes or no like i was because i was just fed up at this point because she had brought over the whole family and i was like what are we doing here you know he was like she's about to go but he's sitting on the stoop smoking weed and she's smoking weed in the living room just sitting down so i was just like what the fuck so i should have been left y'all i should have left earlier i had already packed up my stuff but then when i went to the living room his cousin was like you know, I'm just weirded out, and I'll, and he, you know, about your arm, and he said, and I said, what? Because I'll talk about this later on in the video, but guys, I have, um, a, I have, a, a muscular dystrophy or whatever in my right arm, so it makes it turn a certain way or whatever, and <clears throat> he gonna, he said that about my arm, and I didn't, I just blacked out, and I just threw my soda at him. When I did that, before I had even put my arm down like this, he, Reggie lunged at me and flew me into the bed or whatever. And he was just like, don't you do that. And he was screaming at me in my face, like in front of everybody. And something else happened as soon as that happened, but I don't want to say it right now because it's, I don't want to say it or whatever. It's just really bad. Something else happened as soon as he did that to me and I was done. So he was like, get out. I don't give a fuck. Get your shit and get the fuck out. He was talking to me like this, yelling at me like that and all that stuff and in front of his family for a fight that I did not even start. His sister started the fight. Um, he's the one who actually, who was making me speak to her and have this whole talk with her. She started the fight and everything and I'm the one getting kicked out. And he couldn't even send it to his brothers when his brothers came in and they were talking to me like I was crazy. I literally, like, I did nothing to these people. That's why I'm just so confused or whatever. So I said, okay. So, I, you know, I got my stuff. And before I left, um, don't think I didn't get that bitch back. So I said, okay. I said, okay, you know, I, you know, I put my stuff in there. And... His sister was like, I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to beat that bitch. She kept saying that out loud, like screaming it. And But she never touched me or nothing like that. She only got me with the with the crutches. So she, she calls the police on me after I flung soda at her cousin. The police show up, and I was like, what the fuck? And she was like, yes, I'm the one who called them. I'm the one who called them uh, right there. Her, She needs to go. And I was like, bitch, I'm already going. What are you talking about? You're the one who's been... But I didn't even care enough. We, we, we put my stuff in the car. But I was actually trying to get out of the house really quickly because I had did something. So I was like, okay, let me get out of the house. Let me... Before they notice it. So anyway, um, so I put my stuff in the car. And you... Like, when something happens like that, like traumatic or whatever, you are so full of adrenaline that you don't even feel your body hurting. You don't even feel anything hurting on you or nothing. When I drove back home that morning, I woke up and my stomach was just killing me. My my my, my stomach was hurting me a lot, and my thought I had like I, my whole body was just aching me because I had been thrown around and whatever, blah, blah blah. And I have this huge bruise, and it's clotted up at this point on my leg. I'll take a picture of it. It's it's really hard. Um, at first it was just black, purple, blue, whatever, and it's huge. It's like this big on my right thigh. But now, it's just, it's hard. So I've been massaging it, putting lavender oil on it, and now I'm going to go to the doctor to go check it out to make sure um, nothing bad, like, hurt, you know, nothing bad or whatever is happening because I've never really been, like, hit like that, so I don't know. I mean, I've, I don't know. It, it just looks like a huge bug bite or something. So I was looking it up, and they said that it could either go away or it, something could have popped because of, you know, the whatever. So, anyway, I drove home the next morning. He had been calling my mom. And, um, you know, and they had talked. And one of the issues that I have with my mom is that she's never, like, protected me or anything. It's not her job to do that because I'm an adult at this point. But she never did when I was a kid. So, I don't like it when she gets on the phone with people who have hurt me and she's nice to them. She's calling him baby, blah, 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 being nice to him. And he's the one that hurt me, him and his sister. 
So I, I don't ever feel nothing like for my family like I actually have like a family or any like real friends or anything like that because of things like this. Things like this that happen that show you who's really there for you. So um, now um, we're just, we're not together. I already told him that I was over. You know, he called me the next day. He told me, you know, whatever day after that, two days after that, he told me he couldn't get my mom on the phone because she didn't know his number and she was ignoring him. Um, I just right now I'm just using one of my older iPhones. I have like four iPhone 5s So I just reacted I put in a new sim card reactivated it blah blah, blah. And that was pretty much it um, at this point I think I'm gonna actually really I'm one of those because I couldn't like fight her physically because Her whole family was there and they were holding me back and they were threatening Oh, yeah, and one more thing when I went outside I went up to her and I was like you're gonna call the police really her arm started yelling at me and blah blah, blah. Then the cousin who made fun of my arm. He was like, I'm gonna fight you He was like you talking about my mama cuz you talking about my mama cuz I'm a fight man. He put up his arm. He was like, what's up cuz what's up cuz like these are just some fucking hood bats Like who tries first of all you're you're a grown-ass man. and You're trying to fight a girl and second of all, you have no respect for my ex because why would you ever, like, try to fight your ex, your cousin's girlfriend and then make fun of her and not even try to figure out what really happened? You have no fucking respect. His sister has no respect for him. His cousin has no respect for him. Nobody has respect for him. They don't take him seriously or anything like that. And the thing that really gets on my nerves about all of this is that his whole defense is you didn't claim us as a couple. I'm sorry the phone cut off, but like the sad part is that um, he was saying that I didn't claim him. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Why would I ever claim somebody like you? You can't even stand up to your family. Of course not. He couldn't even stand up to his sister and his friends would come over all night and they would smoke weed all day, sit around for days. Some of them would like not even fucking shower and they would eat up all the food. Like he was the D definition of a hood rat. And I just thought that he was different. Girl, y'all, I don't know. I thought he was just different. He talked different, he acted different when I first met him. It was just, he was just different. And um, I met him and I was like, this guy is kind of like fucking trashy as fuck. But we got along. And he's like, he was a soulmate to me. And it's just, it's just sad and stuff. So anyway, I'm thinking about filing charges on his sister or whatever because she is she is always ready to fight at like the drop of a dime that bitch needs to be humbled and I couldn't do anything because like I said his family was there he was there and he kept like bum rushing me and all that stuff well I haven't used that word since like the early 2000s but anyway he kept like attacking me over his sister and I didn't even do nothing and then she called the police on me that bitch didn't care whether I went to jail or not that day because of her ego and she needed a whole audience there's like a bunch of stuff about them and their family like she has issues because she needs attention like at all times at all costs like she just needs a whole audience and that's why she crawled over the family and she didn't give a damn what happened to me so i'm really thinking about um just like filing a police report on her i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm just sick of stuff happening like this like this has not been the first time like an altercation has happened or whatever or anything has put their hands on me and i wasn't able to defend myself and i did nothing so they can just go on to other people and keep doing it to them because every time anybody has a girlfriend or anything she just doesn't like them like immediately she puts her guard up and she's supposed to be a stud and usually studs are like more laid back they really don't give a damn about what's going on, really. But she is a stud in whatever way that she wants to be. Like, she tries to be a man, but men don't get into drama like that, um, supposedly, according to them or whatever. But, I mean, most men just don't even get into drama like that. They're, they're not just, like, so in the know about drama and certain stuff. So, anyway, um, I ended um, whatever we had. I don't talk to him or anything like that. Um, anymore his his friend texted me yesterday and he asked me what happened and I just didn't feel like rehashing it I'm one of those people where I don't really care to like rehash it not because I'm scared or I'm ashamed or anything like that it's just that um, with things like that I don't like to rehash because it was so stupid like that was the dumbest fight and it escalated so quickly and I'm hurt because he did nothing about it and I just thought that we were better than that and stuff but um anyway guys um I'm actually having a pretty good week um besides all of that she 
is not the type of person I would even allow to make my life bad ever. But I just thought I would share my story. You know, guys, I always see people talking about you're a punk if you call the police, if you don't fight, or if you don't do this and that. And she was trying to fight, and she also called the police. So I don't know whatever that was about. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, you know, so it doesn't really even matter. So since she tried to call the police on me, I'm not, it's not even not being catty. It's really just because I've just seen this happen too many times where she's, like, tried to fight people or do anything, and nothing's ever happened. And she calls over her family or whatever. That bitch needs to be humbled. So... Unless I do some enough type shit where I wait till I got her and we actually like fight and she doesn't try to bring her cousins and her aunt and her uncle in to jump in on somebody because they're all ghetto. So the men in their family will fight a girl, y'all. Like they're really ghetto. And honestly, I would like to just let it go, but this is something that's a little bit different. And I think I'm tired of like letting things just like slide under the rug or whatever. So anyway, uh, I'm going to be, my, my camera's supposed to be arriving on. Um, well, it's supposed to be coming this Saturday, because I ordered it last night, <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to give any advice or anything or email me, you already know what to do, and I actually just hit 200 subscribers <laughs> a few days ago, so now I think we're at, like, I think I'm at, like, I don't know, 230 or something like that. I don't know, but it's good. It's cool. Yay for subscribers. I just want to be a voice of reason. I Hopefully I can like, you know, make people just kind of understand things and see things from people. Other hey guys, my camera's running out of memory, so I gotta go. But I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna delete this, edit it. You know what the deal is with that. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, so here it is. It's hard. It's lumpy. It's... It's just hard. It looks like it feels like a huge mosquito bite or something. So I'm gonna have to go to the doctor to go get it checked out.